All right, this is second grade, module seven, lesson 25. And this lesson is really kind of more of the same as lesson 24, where students are gonna be taking some, measured, uh, some measurement data, and then they're gonna be representing it on a line plot. And the difference from this video versus the previous one in 24 is that really there's just less scaffolding that the students have been given. They're, they're going to be expected to do more on their own as they make their line plots. So let's get started. So we have a line chart here, and uh, I mean a chart that shows the length of a necklaces that students made in arts and crafts. And you can see that 16 inch necklace, three people made a necklace that length, and then all the way down to a really long necklace, the 24 inches long necklace. And we can see that, oh, 16 people made that one because they were really trying to make a long necklace. And so uh, here is the line plot area where we're going to be making our line plot. And the first thing is we need a title. And our title, oh, let's, let's say length of necklaces. And so I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to type it, uh, write in length of necklaces. Now, is that the only possible title? No. Uh, Parents and teachers allow your students to come up with a nice title, and um, and you, uh, as the adult, are going to make sure that their title seems reasonable, but it doesn't have to be exactly what I wrote. But I wrote something that's fairly common. Now we're noticing that the numbers start as low as 16 and go as high as 24. So that's what we're going to do down here on our line plot. I'm going to start down here at 0. I'm going to do two dashes to indicate, hey, we're skipping. And then I'm going to go from 16 to 24. So let's see, I'm going to put 16 here. I'm going to put 24 here. And I'm going to see, let's see, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, so I think I have an idea. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So there's my line plot. And, and parents and teachers, it's going to be fun to watch your students try and make these and have them be reasonably equal. Uh, again, notice that I put my number directly underneath the hash mark because that is exactly the way a number line works. In a number line, we do not put the numbers in the spaces. We put them at the hash marks. And that's why this line plot thing is so cool is it helps students also continue making learning more about that n uh, number line idea which is so so important so now we're ready to start putting our our data into our line plot we see that three people have 16 inch necklaces so one two three we see that nobody has a 17 inch but four people have an 18 inch so we're going to go one two three four and then we see that nobody has 19, but we have um, eight people who have 20. So eight is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have nobody for 21. Interesting. I'm wondering if the, the beads in the necklace are a particular length that prevents odd numbers from happening. That's very interesting. And then... Let's see, let's do 21, nobody has 21. 22 is nine people. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm crashing into my title, and that's okay. Um, oops, but that's 21. I don't want 21, I want 22. So I get, with the power of technology, I can move it over. So there's my 22 right there. And then nobody has 23, and now 16 people have 24. Oh my goodness. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Lots of things that we could discover. One is, oh, look at this. It's kind of going up, isn't it? So it's not a bell curve where it's low at the ends and high in the middle. Now it's the high at the end, so it kind of looks like it's growing like this. That if we could have gone more inches, there would be even more people, almost. 
And the last one is just more of the same. The idea is um, we're going to take this data, make a line plot, and we see that our height of towers, so let's just put tower height, because I'm trying to be a little bit different here. Tower height, and we see that we go from 15 to 18. So I'm going to start down here at 0, and then I'm going to start here at 15, and I'm going to go up here to 18. So let's see, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I only need two spaces in between. So 16, 17, 18. So there's 16. There's 17. And you know, something I think I forgot in the previous video, or a slide, is we need to say that these are inches. I need to include that label. These are inches. And then we can go ahead and start plotting. We have nine people who have 15 um, inch towers. So nine. So that's going to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have six people with 16 inches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have two people with 17 inch towers. One, two. And then we have one person with an 18 inch tower. One. So, what are some things that we notice? Well, we notice that it goes down. Maybe it's because it's really hard to make a really high tower because it starts to fall. So we could talk about that kind of thing. Why is it going down like this? Well, that's because making a tall tower is really hard. Making a short tower, pretty easy. So we could do make kind of observations like that. And then the other, other thing is, there's other questions that we can answer. How many... How many towers were measured? What tower is the most often? And, and, and allow students to come up with their own conclusion about the data in this line plot. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 7, Lesson 25. Students are still drawing line plots based on the data that they've been given. And then, of course, drawing some important conclusions from that.